invite you, my friends, to join us throughout this Holy Week as we commemorate the greatest story ever told, as we commemorate the great events that bring us our salvation and everlasting life. On Thursday evening, we will celebrate the Mass of the Lord's Supper, where we will celebrate the institution of the Eucharist, where Jesus washes the feet of his disciples to remind us that to be his followers is to serve. And we will go with him into the garden, where he cries out to his heavenly Father, if there is any way, take this cup away from me. But your will, not my will, be done. That for us, the cross is the ultimate sign of victory. That the cross, more than anything else, is a sign of God's love. It is a fulfillment. Is it not of what Jesus said at the Last Supper in the Gospel of John? There is no greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. It is a fulfillment of John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that anyone who would believe in him, even if they die, yet should they live. The cross is a sign to us of life. Every time we see it, whether the processional cross, the cross up here, the St. James cross around the corner, the cross around someone's neck, it should be a reminder to us, this is how much God loves us. And it is an invitation for us to love that way in return. After all, Jesus didn't say, did he? Take up your cushy pillow and follow me, did he? He said, take up your cross. A reminder sometimes that to love can hurt. But it is through the hurt that true love is really made present. On Good Friday, we'll have the Stations of the Cross. We're going to have Stations of the Cross at noon down in the courthouse. We'll have Stations of the Cross again here in the church at 3. We'll have the evening service where we go with Jesus to the cross, where we venerate the cross. This symbol of death and suffering that is our symbol of life and victory. We'll hear once more the story of God's great love for us. And then most important of all, we invite you to be with us on Easter morning. When the power of death was shattered, when Almighty God turned the darkest night into the brightest day, when the Holy Spirit raised a broken body from the tomb, and he who was dead was alive again. And in his resurrection, we all have life. So I invite you, friends, to come join us as we journey with Jesus in these last great days. Now let us stand and profess what we believe. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, 